Good afternoon everyone, I'm GC Rock and today is Tuesday which means we've got another vendor reset video for you on a Division 2. But first I just wanted to tell you my schedule for this week because I just had a week off from streaming and we are back to streaming this week. I'm going to be streaming tonight, Wednesday and Thursday. We're going to keep it to three streams per week for a couple of weeks, maybe a couple of months. I've got so much going on that I need to uh, get caught up on as we spoke about in stream recently. So uh, we're going to stick to just the three streams per week but guaranteed Tuesday, Wednesdays, Thursdays and we're going to be doing the division two raids as always this week so we're helping on playstation tonight we're actually got an earlier start time as well we're going to 5 p.m uk because it works for me same tomorrow same on thursday so uh kind of the end to the 8 p.m starts for the people that were used to that i'm hoping that 5 p.m still works for you but you can always watch it on repeat if you do miss the stream and we sometimes do highlights and whatnot so yeah it's gonna be 5 p.m i'm gonna try and keep that obviously when i have my daughter here we might still go back to 8 p.m streams but it will be much shorter so we're gonna try and get these 5 p.m ones on the go uh tonight we're helping with raids on playstation tomorrow we're helping with raids on xbox thursday we're helping with raids on pc if you want a chance to jump in on any of those streams just come by watch the streams we do pull in from stream but more importantly if you want help with raids, you should definitely join our community the link is at the top of the video description come and join there we've got raid teams that help across all platforms and that is the place to be for raid help on the division two but that is it really guys don't forget to also like and share this video to support it and if you're new here today then hit on subscribe for more division two content from me but we are going to carry on with this vendor reset video now what i do every tuesday is i go around every single vendor for you and show you everything that is on sale so we're going to quickly do that cassie mendoza does reset today as well but she's not open so we'll cover that tomorrow and first up is the White House vendor and on sale this week is the named Swap Chain. This is coming with SMG damage, critical hit chance, magazine size and it has perfect unwavering on it. There's an MP5 with SMG damage, critical hit chance, optimal range and reformation, an Orge 3 with assault rifle damage, health damage, damage to target out of cover and eyeless, so some good rolls there if you like that weapon, an X45 with pistol damage, reload speed and steady handed, an Alp Summit backpack with skill tier, repair skills, status effects and opportunistic this is actually the first time i'm looking at these today i haven't gone around to look prior and this is absolutely godly for a healer build i use this exact backpack on my healer builds with opportunistic you take out status effects with skill haste and that is perfect so if anybody is making a healer build right now or wants a decent backpack for a healer build this it this is it this is a must buy for this week there's a providence chest piece with weapon damage critical hit damage weapon handling and a efficient if you like chess pieces with efficient that could be godly and the mods this week we have a 4.7 percent critical hit chance mod an 8.3 percent scan range mod for a drone a 6.1 percent duration mod for a turret and a 6.5 percent damage mod for a sticky Moving on to the clan vendor, and this week you'll be able to buy a named safety distance with SMG damage, critical hit chance, damage target out of cover, and perfect outsider. There's some striker's gloves with weapon damage and headshot damage, true patriot backpack with armor and skill haste, a rigor chest piece with skill tier and skill damage, a lightweight M4 with rifle damage, critical hit damage, damage to armor and boomerang. That could be pretty decent now, that looks quite good. There's a police T821 with SMG damage, critical hit chance, health damage, and formation another up summit backpack this one comes with skill tier status effects armor regen and concussion so pretty useless a petrov holster with weapon damage headshot damage and repair skills a foul with assault rifle damage health damage reload speed and preservation a roldy gloves with weapon damage skill haste and status effects a fenris chest piece with weapon damage skill haste headshot damage and unbreakable that could be pretty decent to be fair especially in like a raid build where you don't really need the crit chance because coyote masks the headshot damage roll crit damage on that and that's a very good unbreakable piece we've got some mods as well there's a 10.6 percent skill ace mod a eight percent health mod for a hive there's a 17.1 percent incoming repair mod and then you've got a 6.4 percent skill ace mod for a firefly over at the campus settlement this week, you can buy a named new reliable with LMG damage, damage target out of cover, swap speed, and it comes with perfectly optimized. There's a surplus SVD with marksman rifle damage, headshot damage, health damage, and vindictive. An M249 with LMG damage, damage target out of cover, rate of fire, and unhinged. 
a Wyvern Mask with Skill TS, Skill Damage, and Explosive Resistance, a Fenris Holster with Weapon Damage, Explosive Resistance, and Hazard Protection for the mods is a 10.1% Skill Ace mod with a 4.2% Duration mod for a Chem, a plus 4 Stim Charges for a Hive, a 4.9% Skill Ace mod for a Pulse, and a 4.1% Duration mod for a Trap. And at the theatre settlement this week, you have a named artist tool on sale. It's got rifle damage, critical hit damage, magazine size, and perfect rifleman that comes with. Uh, there's an ACS-12 with shotgun damage, damage to armor, critical hit damage, and vindictive. A Lavoa C with rifle damage, critical hit damage, health damage, and rifleman. Some 511 gloves with armor, health, and explosive resistance. Alps knee pads with skill tier, crit chance, and explosive resistance. Then there's a 15,517 armor on kill mod. You've got a plus one cluster mine mod, a 4.1% shield health mod. There's an 8% speed mod for a firefly, and a 5.5% duration mod for a decoy. And then moving on to the DZ vendors and starting at DZ West, you're able to get a named Emperor's Guard this week. This comes with skill tier, you've got the 1% armor regen there, and it's got skill haste on it. There's a Super 90 with shotgun damage, damage to armor, headshot damage, and pummel. A SOCOM M1A with rifle damage, critical hit damage, damage target out of cover, and rifleman. Tip of the spear gloves with weapon damage and status effects. Hunter's Fury knee pads with weapon damage and health. Alp Summit gloves with skill tier, skill damage, and armor regen. A Roldy knee pads with weapon damage, crit chance, and status effects. And for the mods, there's an 8.6% ensnare resistance mod, a 4.7% skill ace mod for seekers, a 4% damage bonus per enemy mod for a shield, a 5.7% skill ace mod for a firefly, and a 6% health mod for a decoy. And then over to the DZ South Vendor. This week, you're able to buy an Orbit. This is also going to go as one of my top picks because it's such a rare sidearm that I know a lot of people want to get a hold of. What the Orbit comes with is Perfect Finisher. It is a DZ-only item. And swapping from this weapon within 10 seconds of killing an enemy grants 35% crit hit chance and 40% credit damage for 15 seconds. It's such a good talent. The rolls on this is Pistol Damage and Headshot Damage. And if you haven't got one of these, I highly recommend that you buy one this week. Go and grind that DZ resource. It's 153. You got an MP5A2 of SMG damage, critical hit chance, headshot damage, Damage and Ranger. There's a Honey Badger with Assault Rifle Damage, Health Damage, Accuracy and On Empty. A First Wave P F45 with Pistol Damage, Swap Speed and Spike. An Ongoing Directive Backpack with Weapon Damage, Crit Damage. You've got a Hardwide Chest Piece with Skill Tier and Explosive Resistance. A Petrov Backpack with Weapon Damage, Crit Chance, Explosive Resistance and Calculated. A Petrov Chest there with Weapon Damage, Repair Skills, Explosive Resistance and Empathic Resolve. For the mods is a 4.4% Critic Chance mod. A 4.1% damage mod for a drone, a 6% skill ace mod for a turret, and a 4.8% blast radius mod for a sticky. And then moving on to the final vendor at DZ East, you can buy a named Commando this week. It comes with marksman rifle damage, headshot damage, magazine size, and it has perfectly naked on it. There's a SOCOM MK20 with marksman rifle damage, headshot damage, rate of fire, and reformation. A military L86 with LMG damage, damage target out of cover, headshot damage, and vindictive. An ongoing directive mask with weapon damage and crit hit damage. Hunter's Fury holster with weapon damage and repair skills. Uh, Empress International mask with skill tier, crit damage and status effects. A golden holster with armor, health and crit damage. And then for the mods is a 9.9% skill aced mod. A 5.8% radius mod for a chem. A 7.7% health mod for a hive. A 6.2% cone size mod for a pulse. And a 5.9% duration mod for a trap. And then on to New York and starting at Marco. This week you can buy a SIG MPX with SMG damage, critical hit chance, magazine size, and sadist. A hunting M44 with marksman rifle damage, headshot damage, damage to armor, and steady handed. A custom M870 with shotgun damage, damage to armor, and optimal range, and that comes with spike. There's an M1911 with pistol damage, accuracy, and perpetuation. An overlord backpack with weapon damage, hazard protection, critical hit damage, and combined arms. Wyvern knee pads with skill tier, skill damage, and skill haste. So they're pretty decent. They're exactly what you want on the rolls there. So you can roll one of them and then optimize it, and they're godly. Uh, Gilligard mask there of armor, explosive resistance, and health. And the mods, you have a 10.2% skill ace mod, a 15.8% repair skill mod, a 6.5% deflect duration mod for a drone, a 5.8% heal mod for a chem, and a 6% duration mod for a decoy. 
And then ending at Roy Benitez this week, you can buy a converted SMG with SMG damage, critical hit chance, critical hit damage, and outsider. And the Geth with LMG damage, damage to target out of cover, rate of fire, and close and personal. A tactical sausage 12 with shotgun damage, damage to armor, optimal range, and steady handed. A first wave PF45 with pistol damage, magazine size, and salvage. There's a budget of backpack with armor, status effects, repair skills, and versatile. A Murakami gloves with skill tier, trip damage and weapon handling killer god holster with armor health and critical hit damage and then the mods are a 15.6 percent repair skills mod an 8.3 percent disorient resistance mod 7.9 percent scan range mod for a drone a 4.3 percent duration mod for a chem and a 6.4 percent duration mod for a sticky and that brings us to the end of this week's vendor reset video thank you so much for watching my top picks for this week are definitely that alps backpack which is godly for a healer build and the orbit at the dz vendor i think it was dz south and that orbit there's a lot of people that tell me they want that so this is your week to go and buy it that's a very very good item on sale this week uh one more mention will be the fenris chest piece as well especially for a raid build if you're looking to make an unbreakable build i know it's got headshot damage roll but that is very decent but i'm gonna leave it there thank you for watching today let me know in the comments what you'll be buying this week because we all have different opinions you know what's my gold might be someone else's trash and vice versa so let me know in the comments what you'll be buying this week don't forget to hit like and share to support the video and if you're new here hit subscribe for more content from me if you're not in our community definitely come and check that out the link is at the top of the video description so go and head there now i'm gonna be back at 5 p.m uk tonight helping with raids on playstation we'll see you then thank you for watching stay safe and peace out